to talk about a young man on a roll right now. The first ever to knock out Carl Friedrich. Then you follow that up, defeating the greatest welterweight of all time in Matt Hughes in the fight back in London. And this is a dangerous young man, especially Joe with those leg kicks. And the way he knocked out Matt Hughes was so impressive. Took no damage when he was taken down. Easily got to his feet. He showed really great defense on the ground and phenomenal striking on his feet. Just one of the most dangerous fighters at 170 pounds. Because of the style that he presents, because of his Muay Thai, his extreme power and size. Harley Davidson trip point is where Tiago Alves steps into. Weighed in at 171, Joe, good cut, made weight, and ready to go like he's never been before. And I'll tell you what, he's not 170 right now. We're talking about a young man that cuts a substantial amount of weight. Between fights, walks around as high as 200 pounds or more. He has brutal power, and he has some very good experience over wrestlers. His victory over John Alessio is a, it's an excellent example of him using leg kicks to stop wrestlers. I mean, the John Alessio bout was just a, a clinic on using those brutal Muay Thai leg kicks to wear down his opponent, take away his face, take away his ability to shoot. And that's what he wants to do tonight with John Kotchek. He wants to land leg kicks, land those vicious knees and punches, and take Kotchek out. Remember, as we mentioned at the top of the show, this fight was originally to be Diego Sanchez, winner of the Ultimate Fighter, against Thiago Alves. Kotchek stepped up, takes the fight on short notice against now, Thiago Alves, who's as hot as anybody right now, and ironically, it was Kotschek who defeated Diego Sanchez in Diego's first loss.